The opioid crisis continues to grip our area, and fentanyl is taking more and more lives every day. And now dealers have found new ways to market this deadly drug. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram went inside the DEA's laboratory in a CBS 2 News exclusive. This is two milligrams. That would be equivalent of a lethal dose of fentanyl. Equivalent to just 10 grains of salt on your kitchen table. I am shocked at the amount of fentanyl pills that we're seizing and the fentanyl power that we're seizing. Week by week, month by month, we're seizing more and more. As the DEA's fight to save lives continues, Frank Tarantino, DEA New York's top agent, says drug cartels are now pushing the poison onto teens through social media apps like TikTok and Facebook. It really is a marketing scheme. We are inside the DEA's laboratory here in New York City where all opioids are brought in for testing. Agents say the new way drug dealers are trying to market fentanyl is mixing it with other colors to attract users. This is 19,000 rainbow fentanyl pills recently seized by federal agents. These are tie-dye. Now we're starting to see um, what we'll call speckled fentanyl tablets or tie-dye. Tom Blackwell, DEA's lab director for the Northeast region, says the poisonous purity levels are the same. We analyze about 24,000 uh, fentanyl tablets a week. Six out of every 10 tablets contains a lethal dose of fentanyl. Agents say fentanyl is being smuggled into U.S. borders from countries like Mexico. We've seen them in suitcase rails. We've seen them smuggled in as batteries, legitimate batteries, um, fake perfume, shampoos. And it's taking the lives of habitual, social, and even first-time users in our area. This is Christmas time. Christmas was always, is always a big deal. 21-year-old Garrett Venza is one of the faces of fentanyl. He says, okay, going to bed, love you. I said, I love you. And those are the last words we spoke. His father, John, lost him six years ago around Thanksgiving. Unfortunately, I found him uh, overdosed you know, on the floor of his bedroom. John Garrett runs Outreach, an alcohol and substance abuse treatment center with locations in Brooklyn, Queens, and Long Island. It specializes in adolescent care. And the ironic twist of fate was I couldn't help my own son. He says his Long Island center is seeing a surge in overdose deaths among 14 to 18-year-olds. In the five boroughs, the Bronx has the highest overdose deaths, as well as the highest drug seizures. Federal agents on the front lines of the fentanyl fight say they're working with law enforcement partners. Getting out into the community and educating and, and providing the awareness to the, to the community, to the caregivers, to the educators, so that they understand what this crisis is all about. From DEA headquarters in New York City, Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. And to find out more about the outreach program mentioned or for a list of other resources for drug addiction, go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.